We all know that in the world of combat sports, a single punch can shatter someone's dreams. Well, get ready for the most devastating one-punch knockouts ever witnessed. Brace yourselves for bone-crushing power, lightning-fast strikes, and history-making moments. Let's dive in. Hold on tight, fight fans, because UFC Fight Night 11 delivered a heart-pounding clash between two warriors, Chris Levin and the up-and-coming Terry Martin. The momentum shifted throughout the fight, with Martin dominating and coming oh so close to ending Levin's night early. But in the final moments, as the clock ticked down, Levin tapped into his inner beast. He refused to surrender. The crowd watched in awe as Martin rocked Levin, seemingly on the verge of victory. Yet, in a moment that will forever be etched in UFC lore, Levin unleashed a counter left hook that unleashed chaos. It landed with the four of a thunderbolt sending Martin crashing to the canvas, his dreams shattering instantly. Next was a clash of unbeatable titans as Siku Powell stepped into the ring against the formidable Cornelius Bundridge on Showbox. With a flawless record of 15-0, Powell was determined to maintain his untarnished status, but Bundridge standing tall at 21-0 had his plans. From the moment the opening bell rang, it was clear that fireworks were in store. When you thought the madness had peaked, Powell unleashed a thunderous punch that left Bundridge reeling. The arena exploded excitedly as Bundridge hit the canvas again, unable to withstand the force of Powell's devastating blow. Get ready to witness a knockout that shook the Royal Albert Hall. Chris Eubank, the renowned former middleweight and super middleweight boxer, stepped into the ring against the determined Reginaldo Dos Santos for the vacant WBC international title. With a record of 11 and 13, Team, Dos Santos had dreams of toppling the undefeated Eubank. The atmosphere was electric as the crowd eagerly awaited this clash of titans. The bell rang and before anyone could even blink, Eubank unleashed a swift punch that sent Dos Santos crashing to the canvas in just 20 seconds. Eubank showcased his power and precision, leaving the crowd in awe and Dos Santos wondering, what had hit him. Here is another fantastic underdog story. When Haseem Rahman stepped into the ring to face off against the mighty Lennox Lewis in South Africa, the odds were stacked against him at a staggering 15 to 1. But Rahman was determined to prove he was more than a long shot. For the first four rounds, Rahman refused to back down, trading blows with the reigning champion blow for blow. But it was in the fifth round that the unthinkable happened. Rahman seized the moment, backing Lewis into the ropes. Then, like a lightning bolt, he unleashed a mighty right hand, launching his opponent to the ground. This next one is a classic case of David versus Goliath gone horribly wrong inside the UFC cage. Picture this, an untested and inexperienced newcomer, Rick Davis, being thrown into the lion's den against the ferocious heavy hitter, Melvin Guillard, at UFC 60. This was a mismatch of epic proportions, and the outcome was as predictable as brutal. In less than two minutes, Guillard unleashed a thunderous blow that sent poor Davis crashing to the canvas like a sack of potatoes. It was a one-hit wonder that left jaws dropping and Davis in massive pain. Get ready for a wild ride down memory lane at Strike Force Miami. The stage was set for a thrilling showdown between Melvin Manhoof and the tenacious Robbie Lawler. In the opening round, Manhoof unleashed a relentless assault on Lawler's legs, delivering thunderous low kicks that clearly spooked Lawler. But, as with all great battles, the tides can quickly turn. Manhoof made a crucial defensive error in a moment that showcased the fine line between victory and defeat. He threw a powerful right leg kick that nearly sent Lawler tumbling to the canvas but left his hands dangerously low in the process. Like a predator sensing weakness, Lawler seized the opportunity and quickly launched a brutal counter right hand directly at the vulnerable kickboxer. Manhoof had nowhere else to go but down. Up next is the fight between 
Paulo Tiago and Sayar Bahadurzada. Tiago was a force to be reckoned with. This meant a tough battle ahead for Bahadur Zada, but he wouldn't give up that easily. The clock started ticking and the two took their time before throwing out any hits. Paulo tried to attack first, but Sayar quickly threw a counter. In 42 seconds, Bahadur Zada shattered all expectations and forever left a mark in the UFC world. The man holds one of the best underdog victories out there. Let's step into the time machine and travel back to the UFC's wild and untamed SEG era. Amidst this chaos, there was a character who seemed to embody the spirit of unrefined savagery, none other than Tank Abbott. At UFC Ultimate Ultimate 96, Tank gave Steve Nelmark a reality check. Pinned against the unforgiving cage, Nelmark found himself on the receiving end of a monstrous right hand that landed with bone-crushing force. The impact was so tremendous that Nelmark's head seemed to have detached from his neck. As you can see, he was so out of it, looking lifeless in the cage. Up next, we have Shane Carwin stepping into the octagon for his debut showdown against Christian Wellish. And boy, did he deliver. In a blink and you'll miss it 44 seconds, Carwin unleashed a monstrous right hook that catapulted Wellish into the ground. It was like watching a scene straight out of a sci-fi blockbuster. This epic moment became the stuff of legends, forever etched in the annals of UFC 84 and cemented Carwin's place in fighting history. What an electrifying way to kick off your UFC journey by unleashing a bone-crushing knockout in the very first round. Prepare yourself for a legendary trilogy of epic proportions. Vanderlei Silva and Kazushi Sakuraba collided not once, not twice, but three times in their awe-inspiring careers. And guess what? Silva, or the Axe Murderer, emerged victorious in all three encounters. The first two battles were brutal, leaving spectators wide-eyed and jaws dropped. But hold on tight, because the third showdown was an absolute spectacle that will captivate your senses. With just over five minutes of heart-pounding action inside the hallowed pride ring, Silva unleashed a lightning-fast left hook that seemed to freeze the legendary Sakuraba in his tracks. But wait, there's more. A swift right hand followed without skipping a beat, propelling Sakuraba across the ring like a human cannonball. This mind-blowing finish still stands as one of the most visually stunning spectacles the sport of MMA has ever witnessed. The charismatic showman Nassim Hamid stepped into the ring to defend his WBC featherweight title against Sayed Lowell. And boy, did he make a statement. Hamid unleashed a barrage of devastating blows in the blink of an eye, sending Lowell crashing to the floor in mere moments. The referee, caught off guard by Hamid's lightning speed, hesitated to stop the fight, allowing Lowell to continue, but it was just a matter of seconds as Lowell went down again, and this time the referee had seen enough. He waved off the fight, putting an end to the lightning quick showdown. The next fight is one roller coaster of emotions and a jaw dropping turn of events. Fueled by sheer determination, Andre Arlovsky stepped into the ring with former heavyweight king Fedor Emelianenko at the electrifying Affliction Day of Reckoning event. And for a brief moment, it seemed like Arlovsky had unearthed the secret formula to dethrone the mighty Emelianenko. With precision punches and thunderous kicks, the Belarusian warrior showcased his arsenal, landing blow after blow, leaving the audience in awe. But oh boy, did he let his enthusiasm get the best of him. In a whirlwind of excitement, around the three minute mark, the pit bull found himself with the last emperor against the ropes, sensing victory within reach. That's when he decided to take flight, quite literally, with a daring flying knee maneuver. Just as Arlovsky soared through the air like a fearless eagle, a swift counter right found its mark, catching the airborne pit bull mid-flight. The result? A bone-rattling collision with the mat as the former UFC champ crashed face-first, leaving everyone's jaws dropped in disbelief. 
help. So that's all for today's episode, folks. If you enjoyed watching, leave a like and share it with your friends. You can also comment and let us know what you'd like to see from this channel in the future. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. You'll want to check out our other videos. Stay tuned for more awesomeness. Thanks for watching.